Allahu Akbar. The remains of Nigeria's chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru, and 10 other officers who died in the ill-fated crashed aircraft in Kaduna have been buried in Abuja, the nation's capital. The family members, friends, colleagues and sympathizers wept uncontrollably as the remains were laid to rest at the National Military Cemetery, Abuja. The intermit followed funeral services at the National Mosque and Nigerian Air Force Protestant Church after the bodies were received at the Inambi Azikwe International Airport. President Muhammad Buhari, who was represented by the Minister of Defense, retired Major General Bashir Magashi at the funeral, praised the late Atahiru and other officers who died with him. <laughs> One of our finest and best pilots was conveying him along with the entourage. After landing at Kadana International Airport, the cold hands of death, which manifested in the stormy weather, ended that journey. The war against insecurity must be won. Truly must be won. All we ask of you is to keep praying for us. Buhari said that the late army chief was a dedicated and committed officer who died when his services were most needed. He said that late Atahiru had demonstrated a high level of commitment as well as inspired courage and confidence in the officers and soldiers of Nigerian army. The presidency pledged that the departed would not die in vain. CBA TV had earlier reported that Mr. Atahiru was recently appointed as Nigeria's chief of army staff by President Muhammadu Buhari. Until his appointment in January, he was the general officer commanding 82 division of the Nigerian army Enugu. With service number 8406, he was a member of regular course 35 of the Nigerian Defense Academy. Kamil Sadiq reporting for CBA TV, Nigeria.